This is why I took the crazy chance and walked away from my job. So it's 2023, I'm living in one of the most expensive cities in Canada and honestly probably the world. And as we all know, ever since the pandemic, we're on the brink of a recession. Inflation is getting crazy. It's getting out of hand. And I made the smart ass decision to cut my income. So outside of being a dancer, I've worked many side jobs to keep myself afloat, mainly as a video editor and producer. Most recently, I was working as a video editor for a media company here in Canada. To be honest, I was freaking miserable. Working for a corporation was soul sucking. But outside of some internal issues, the biggest issue was honestly within. Every minute I spent not working on my craft as a dancer, I felt like I was losing my life. I felt like I was running out of time. And I knew I didn't have much left in me to continue working at the company. Bye, bitch. <laughs> so what do you do when you're in a predicament of this nature? You're trying to quit your job, but you got to be realistic. You got bills to pay. You got your rent, you got your groceries, you got your phone, your internet, all of these different things. Well, let me tell you, it's all about being strategic. You need to be smart and you must be rational. You cannot, I mean, you can, who am I to stop you? But I don't recommend ever quitting on a whim or walking away from something on a whim when it can be detrimental to you. You gotta really sit with it and think it through cause you need to survive at the end of the day. So what I started to do at my place of employment is I did something called quiet quitting, which essentially means you're just setting up your boundaries as a worker. You are not working a single minute of overtime without extra compensation. You are not doing anything outside of your scope of responsibilities. Basically, all the things that you need to be doing to have a healthy work-life balance is basically what quiet quitting is. You just slowly disappear into the shadow. Vincent Chan has an incredible video on explaining what quiet quitting is. I'm going to link that in the description. Also, during this time, what I had to unfortunately start doing is really start restricting my spending habits. This included reducing the amount of time I was going out to my favorite coffee shops or going out to eat, doing activities that require money, essentially. And I started focusing all my money into either saving or allocating to my necessities, such as rent and groceries. And then when the time came, I told my company I will not be returning to my position. Bye, bitch! The liberty of now being a starving artist. Yeah, that brother's starving. Now, of course, let's be serious. It is absolutely terrifying to give up a steady stream of income. <laughs> However, on a soul level, this really felt like a moral obligation. As corny as this may sound, I chose to give my energy to something that was truly meaningful to me. And although it's going to come with a price, it's going to come with repercussions, it's going to come with sacrifice, this feels all worth it. Money comes and goes. I got one life to live and I got one dream I will give up anything and everything for. And I'm okay with financially struggling or being a little bit more restrictive with the way I go about my spending habits. I also wanted to kind of preface that a lot of people think, oh, if I just quit this job, it's going to make me happy. It's going to make me happy. And that's not necessarily the reality of the situation. I mean, I am in a certain way more happy with the job put aside, but there are days that it gets very dark and very scary emotionally, mentally, just because you're out here, you're fending for yourself. And as I stand completely financially independent, I don't have anyone else to rely on if things go sour. If I run out of money, I'm going to have to figure out a way to get myself out of it. This is why it's so important, even when you're trying to make very bold decisions, 
that you remain strategic and you remain well thought out during this entire time. Trust me, there were many days when I was working my job and emotions were running high and I was ready to quit right there on the spot. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. However, emotions do really tend to cloud your judgment. So you cannot be making hasty decisions based off of one feeling. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Whatever. Essentially, I am such a firm believer in taking great risk for great reward. I think it's so worth it. And I kind of enjoyed the thrill of not knowing what's coming next. It keeps life exciting and enticing. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week.